What is going on everybody? It is Ozzy from Oz Talks Hardware and I am finally out of that super small, unspacious, annoying, cramped, just awful dorm room and I am back at my parents' place for the summer. I finished my first year of undergrad at college, thank God I survived, and I am back here for the summer and I'm going to be making a ton of videos. And so this video is a kind of a vlog of me turning my one of my rooms in my basement into a kind of small office slash chill out area. Now this is just part one and it's probably gonna be two or three parts, but I decided, you know, let me kind of do a vlogging style video and show you the process of getting to where it's going to be. Now I'm only gonna be here for three months, which is the duration of my summer. So I'm not gonna turn this into some like super amazing, like awesome space, but I'm going to make it doable and workable. So that's where I am right now. Um, as you can see, I kind of changed my setup back here. Um, I have a bunch of CPUs here and then monitor and all this other stuff. And I'll get to that later. Um, hopefully by the end of all of this, I'll have a full setup video and maybe a tour of what this place looks like. But for now, this is where it is and I'm gonna start off the vlog. So hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, everyone. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can see me and I don't know how good I look, but I just got back from college last night. So I just woke up this morning, it's about 9 a.m. And I have this space downstairs pretty much all to myself. And so I think I'm going to make this my little office while I have my room upstairs to do videos. Um, I have a bunch of junk. So this is a bunch of old computer junk and kind of new computer junk. Um, like for instance, this is a GTX 1060 Exoc that I have to review. Exoc, I don't know. I have to review that soon. But that's that um, $50 gaming computer right there. Uh, these are stains on the carpet that I'm going to get fixed. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try to make this into pretty much my own little office today or tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna have all day to work on this. So first things first, I gotta get everything out of this room and I pretty much have to clean it. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully it goes quickly, but yeah, let's get started on that, so. All right guys, so here I am. I'm about to clean my room and I look kind of stupid here. But anyway, this is me cleaning and I realize that cleaning is not very exciting. So I won't spend too much time on this. I'll actually skip forward to where it's almost clean. And here's the part where I try to take out the super wide table through the door, but I realize that it's too wide. So I come back and I break down the table like I should have done in the first place and take it out. And then here's me trying to be cool and failing. So yeah. Okay, so I finally was able to kind of get all of the clutter out of the way. I kind of organized uh, the room so it looks a little bit better than before. So all of my old products or the junk, I just call it junk, but the stuff that I'm not using right now or I might use later, I just put it in this closet. So that's like all of my old stuff from old videos. So like that, the $25 PC is like right there. It's kind of dark so you can't see it. And then I have a bunch of other stuff like that's the uh, Vision Tech, um, uh, the five dollar uh, GPU that I had recently and then that's my old CPU cooler so I have a lot of stuff here a lot of memories but um, all this new stuff that I'm gonna be working on um, all the new products that I'm gonna be reviewing or using if this thing will autofocus please there we go so all that new stuff it's gonna go right here so this these are like three or four computers down here that I'm gonna be using for later um, a bunch of stuff that I have reviewed, a real review, um, I have a lot of CPUs. This isn't all of them. I have a whole box of CPUs. So I'm going to try to go somewhere and get a shelf for them on a display because I think that's really cool. Um, but right now, that's currently where my computer is going to go. Um, this right here is bothering me. I'm going to try to get some kind of wood frame just to cover it. Um, I'm not very good with like wood and stuff, but I'm going to try to do that. But for now, I am going to set up my PC. So I'll do that, be right back, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I plugged everything in, and this is how it currently looks. Um, this is probably not going to be the final product. I think I'm actually just going to put the case down here somehow i'm not really sure because there aren't any like holes for wire um for wiring any of the cables through so i'm probably gonna have to figure something out probably a cheap ghetto fix but we'll figure that out but um this is how it looks right now again this isn't the final thing um i'm gonna spruce it up a bit and do a lot of cable management because right now there are a bunch of bad cables 
back there that you can probably see. Um, and then the wall is really empty. So, gonna go get some stuff to make this look better. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how it looks so far. Um, this is all my other wires that I'm gonna be using eventually, or I might just put them in the closet. Uh, please focus, please. There we go. Those are all the wires that I have. Um, uh, I'm probably not going to be using all of them, so I'm going to either put them in the closet or put them over there somewhere. Um, and then I think I'm going to put a shelf right here to put all of those CPUs right there. I'm going to put a shelf on my desk and then stack all of those there for display. But it's coming out pretty well. I have a poster right here, a chance poster, that it's kind of crinkled. Yeah, but I think I'm going to try to frame it and then hang it up and then I'm going to get one more poster and hang that up and then I have a few other paintings that I might use. That's another box of stuff, but yeah, um, I'm going to go finish this off. So, Alright guys, so we're out shopping. We finally made it to our destination, uh, the IKEA for poor people, Walmart. Alright, so right now I'm looking for a mouse pad. Because my current, oh, would you look at that? There's one right there. And it's cheap, perfect. Just how I like it. So the mouse pad has gotten, or I just picked it up. There it is, look at that beauty. So now we have to go get light bulbs. I need about 15 and I need some that are warm and some that are daylight color. So, let's go. Journey towards light bulbs, even though they're not right there. Let's go, let's go get them. Those are vacuum cleaners. So I have found the light bulbs, and so I've already gotten two Sawfly LEDs. I got the great value ones, of course, because I'm cheap. But I think I'm looking for colored ones right now, and right now, the ones that catch my eye are these amber ones right here. Um, I've never tried amber ones before, but these are cheap, and they seem like they would give off a nice, I like a nice warm orangish glow. I don't know why I said noise. A nice warm orangish glow. So I think I'm gonna pick these up. And that's all the light bulbs that I need for now. That's about 10. I wanted about 15, but I think 10 will be fine for what I want to do. Um, other than that, uh, I don't think that there is anything else that I need to get here. Maybe, I don't know, I'll look around. We'll see. Um, yeah. All right guys, so this is everything that I got from Walmart. I got the light bulbs that I showed you guys in the video. With that one as well and then I have this mouse pad which is a very simple mouse pad but I think it works fine and I threw away my other one well I didn't throw it away but it's very dirty and it's kind of small for my keyboard and my mouse and it'd be kind of awkward to use it just for my mouse so I decided to not use it at all and I like this one better it's simple and it's dark and pretty much black works with everything so um, what I didn't show though are these things so these are kind of like uh, well, it says they're cabinet organizers, which is basically what they are. So I have this one, and then I have this one, which is more like a shelf, as you can see from that picture. If we'll focus. There we go. Um, so I'm going to be using those for these guys and putting those on there for showcasing. Ooh, there's a dollar. Hello, George Washington. Um, now what I'm going to do is, I haven't finished cleaning completely, but um, what I have left isn't that much. But what I'm going to do is put these together and try to get my setup done, so then all I have left is to clean and make this place look kinda good. All right guys, so this is what it looks like when I have that setup thing. I actually kinda like it. I, I expected it to be worse, but it actually came out pretty good. Now I might change up like just the whole format of it, but I think it will stay like this. Now, I'm not going to show you the entire setup just yet because I still have some stuff to do and I still have to clean up like all of that stuff, all of this stuff, all of this stuff, uh, all of that stuff. So, that will be coming soon, but I think everything is looking kind of well so far, but I'm going to try and finish this entire thing, just cut the vlog from there and then show you the final product. So, I'll be back in about two hours maybe. It'll probably be like 10 seconds of your time. Probably shorter, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, just a little update. So I've been working on my setup for a little bit, and this is what it kind of looks like right now. Um, I think I'm close to being done. I kind of like the way it looks. I decided to add some LEDs to the back. As you can see, they're actually blue, but the 
looks like the camera is making them look kind of purplish but yeah that's the final product of the CPUs and then that's the setup so far and then I added this futon in here because I decided that instead of using this 1440p monitor this old one um, which I believe is broken I decided to just use this TV now the CV is only 720p but it does support 1080p it'll just downscale it so I can still do 1080p benchmarks on here and at the same time <laughs> I can watch videos to my comfort, so I think it's a win-win for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to clean all this stuff up, and I'm pretty much done in here, I would say. Um, I do have to get, so I can't fix that myself, and I don't think it's worth the effort to fix it because I'm only going to be here for three months. But I do have a lot of pictures that I can put in place of that to kind of cover that up. Um, and then for this thing right here, I really need to cover that up as well. And then I'm pretty much done after that. Um, so yeah, after this, you'll probably see a montage of what the final product of this entire room looks looks like. Um, but thanks for watching this vlog. Uh, if you liked it, then actually no, I won't say all of that now because I'll probably end up sitting down and actually videoing myself. I'll say it then. But. Tune in, I'll show you the final product after this is done.